CSU parliamentarian Peter Gauweiler likes to swim against the stream. Once again, he's taken the German parliament to the German constitutional court in protest against the Eurozone rescue packages. As plaintiff, my criticism was that parliament had about as much to say as a parents' association in running a school. They were basically bulldozed. Gauweiler says that in a united Europe, the German parliament is forfeiting its power and cannot see why Finance Minister Wolfgang Schäuble is approving rescue packages to the tune of billions of euros. I can't imagine that a parliament would have the authority to hand out funds on this scale. Even if it is an ongoing debate that reconsiders the issue over and over, we just don't have the money. Germany is two trillion euros in debt. Gauweiler wanted the Constitutional Court to review the first bailout for Greece and ideally to declare it null and void. That would take any further Euro bailout plans off the table for the time being. Blocking the Euro has been one of Gauweiler's personal crusades for the past 20 years. He's always been opposed to it. He routinely argues with his party chairman and former German finance minister Theo Weigel, who was always in favor of the common currency. Gauweiler doesn't seem worried about alienating his own party. I've had it said to me a few times, well, Gauweiler, that's pure stubbornness, you old troublemaker, and that is part of it. Gauweiler, known for going his own way, has no problem taking to the streets with the left party if they share a position. It's an attention getter at the very least. Peter Gauweiler even hit the campaign trail with Oscar Lafontaine. He's notorious as the eternal bickerer, who's even prepared to drag his own government into court. Most CDU and CSU MPs take Gauweiler's constant provocations lightly. We've seen this in the past, and it did not do any harm. It livens up the democratic debate, and we can handle that. Some fellow conservatives even seem to appreciate Gauweiler's needling at a time when Chancellor Merkel is preparing to push the next rescue package worth 253 billion euros through Parliament. If no one else is raising the banner of economic reason, then it has to come from within the government. Even if it harms the Chancellor? I don't think it'll come to that. She has a broad majority behind her with the SPD and the Greens. Let's wait and see how the vote goes. It's a foregone conclusion that it'll go well for Euro-friendly Chancellor Merkel and badly for the Eurosceptics. The Constitutional Court has already thrown out the complaint. In the name of the people, the hearings are to be concluded with one common ruling. The constitutional complaints are dismissed. Please take your seats. But the court did demand that the huge bailouts must be approved by Parliament and time limits imposed, even if they were approved by a large majority in Parliament. It's a small victory for Peter Gauweiler. Now that the parties have formed a sort of cartel in Berlin, where no amount of debate is any use, I think it's my job to stand in their way and remind them, even with their 90 or 95 percent in favor, that there are still limits and they're set by our constitution. In Berlin, Chancellor Merkel's response was brief. She commented on the Constitutional Court's ruling with just one sentence. As far as I can see, in just a short time, the Constitutional Court confirmed our bill this morning, saying that self-reliance and solidarity, in a transparent manner, but of course with the full approval of Parliament, is precisely the path that we've taken. Now Peter Gauweiler is about the only one left standing in the way of the next Euro rescue package, and he isn't someone to give up easily.